Okay, I've had a vintage terry cloth dress on my wish list for so long, and this one's even better because most of the time they're just a solid color, and this is screaming an end. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Annette, and this is a vintage splendor. Today we're doing a little bit of thrifting education hence the microphone i'm very serious about today so i know we all love thrifting but today i wanted to focus on how to thrift like a vintage collector so i like to say that i've been a vintage collector and avid thrifter for over 30 years yes that is totally possible because i'm 42 and i started thrifting at 10. so the math is nothing so today i want to show you how i navigate a thrift store to find those like really really great unique timeless pieces that i'm gonna have in my closet forever a couple of weeks ago i showed you how i like to style and what my go-to style hacks are but in order to have that really cool wardrobe to have fun with you need to have those amazing pieces and i'm going to show you how to thrift to be a vintage collector like moi I feel like I have a lot of good tips to share with you and you know what I'm 80s mom today with my full-on get up and I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite thrift stores and we're gonna shop let's go so my friend over here we are going to break this down for you. So when you are thrifting like a collector, of course, you wanna look for vintage pieces. I mean, I am going to scream this the top of my lungs forever. Is with vintage, you're getting that quality craftsmanship that you really can't find with modern pieces. So always opt for vintage. Look for a lot of textures and really quality fabrics. That's going to help add that really vibrant and bold aesthetic to your wardrobe. When you're looking for timeless pieces, look for these essentials with a twist. So one of my favorite blazers is my vintage Ralph Lauren blazer. It's not just a simple navy blue blazer. It has this really structured fit to it. It has these beautiful shoulder pads. It's double breasted style and it has that embroidered crest on it, which just adds enough of that like flair that I love that makes it really unique. But again, a piece that I reach for all the time. So if all of this gold did not give it away, I am a firm believer in accessorizing. I think one of the most misused quotes is that one about Chanel saying like, remove a piece of jewelry before you leave the house. I think like you should add a few pieces because I'm literally just wearing jeans and a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. And then I added in this fabulous Escada belt, some jewelry, and it's really elevated it. So if you really lean towards a more minimal closet, but like to add a little bit of flair, you want to look for accessories. That's belts. It's jewelry. It could be hats. It could be scarves. So these are my initial tips for shopping like a collector. So are you ready to start shopping? I think he's ready. These pants are a perfect example of really bold color and prints. Like these can be a staple in your closet and you can wear them forever. I just love the really mod print and the color just really leans into spring and summer styling. I think you dress this up even with a sweater for the fall months and really have fun with it. As a collector, I never shop seasonally. So if I see something in the middle of winter and it's a perfect summer dress, I go for it. If it fits all of the check boxes for me, like I found all these really beautiful, like 90 summer dresses. These are like perfect for travel. They're not my size, but look at the price. They're $2.99 each. And this is one of my big tips is if you're a collector, you are looking at the long term. You're not thinking about the right now. So you want to think about pieces that you're going to wear in four months, four years, 40 years, because, you know, we're going to be living a long thrift life. So 
if you've been following me a long time, I think you know that my style doesn't fit into a box. I do lean a little bit 80s, gaudy, maximalist, a la Joan Collins from Dynasty. It's like forever my icon. But I can also do 90s history teacher. I could even do like 70s Stevie Nicks, like what I'm trying to say is like my style is all over the place, which keeps things really fun and not boring. And I feel like this is going to fit that like 90s history teacher vibe with like a cool chunky cardigan. But I feel like I could even make this really modern and give it a 60s twist. So I'm going to add this to the pile. Even though I'm not supposed to be shopping today, I'm supposed to be educating. But part of the education is when you see something and you love it, buy it. This is checking all of the boxes with the print, the color, and just the silhouette. So silhouette is really, really important to me because you need something that's going to hug the body. And it's just going to be a really flattering piece. And this is $5. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm Feel like this is a piece that i can style up for even like a summer wedding but styled down with my favorite like a sweatshirt some mules or boots and a baseball hat okay i've had a vintage terry cloth dress on my wish list for so long and this one's even better because most of the time they're just a solid color and this is screaming anant hawaii vibes I can even wear it Palm Springs. And look, this is what I love about vintage pieces. It's just the details. It has this cute little slit detail. So perfect. This is so cute. <sighs> Vests and blazers is one of the parts of the store that you're going to find really good quality vintage pieces that again that like really check off the boxes for quality, craftsmanship, color, texture, plus silhouette. So perfect example, we've got this Les Suit. This is like 80s and 90s and they even made stuff into the early aughts but you know, this would be really, really great to style with some jeans, a really huge belt to cinch in the waist, and it helps like fill certain voids in your closet. It's also a really good layering piece. So this is the kind of stuff that I look for when I'm trying to build that like timeless, like collected wardrobe. Okay, this is not my usual color. I just don't know if I can do brown, but I'm gonna try this on. And what I love is it comes with a belt. This would be really great for like a safari Ralph Lauren inspired look. I like it. Another piece that is not my go-to color, but I'm trying to lean into orange. But look at this. This is so great. I feel like this would look great with my orange pants if I wanted to do like a really bright pop of like a suit. They're two different tones and then the textures are different, but that's how you get that like really, really good style look. Like I love this. It's like a nice like wool blend and I love the little print on the jacket. This is really good. Liz, she's my gal. One of my go-to brands I always look for. I always look for Liz, Carol Little, and Ralph Lauren. I just know I'm going to get a really great piece. This is another classic blazer and i love this color it, like don't know if it reads on the camera but it's like a nice like deep olive and i don't have anything like this in my closet i always bypass the black section it doesn't matter what section it is i just feel like that is not my vibe i'm not going to waste any time in it so this is not vintage but it's banana republic it's a linen pinstriped blazer this is really good i feel like this would look really great with like denim cut off shorts some boots and, like maybe just do a bralette and wear it as a top i like that cache is one of those brands that is just so good. So I remember in the 90s when I used to go to the mall, 
I used to hit up Abercrombie because that's what we did in the 90s in high school. But then I would always look at the clothes and cachet because they're always gold, gaudy, very over the top. And I was like, I can't wait to be a grown up and wear a cachet. Now I thrift it. <laughs> While this is not like the bougier side of the thrift, I always look in the men's sweatshirts because, you know, I love a good sweatshirt moment and really helps you like rework the dresser pieces that you have in your closet it's also like just fun to accessorize without looking too extra even though i like being the most overdressed person in a room so a hot tip when shopping in the men's department is if you're looking for sports team or college sweatshirts like generally it's going to be in the navy blue and in the red section there are some teams that are like orange but I'm still not convinced orange is the best color so i always look at the blues i look at the reds and then the gray colors just to like really hone in on what i'm looking for i can't get enough of my vintage slip dresses so this looks like it's a robe i'm gonna unknot this and i love these because you can wear it as a really cool layering piece so but like this would be cool like over some jeans and just a bralette and it's like that very 90s look and this color is really pretty and this is like these are definitely collector's items because it's so hard to find them now so i never skimp out on looking at the jewelry this is like the section that i feel like generally hit or miss but sometimes you can score big on really good like gaudy like no name brand like huge earrings huge necklaces like this gold one i bought for a couple of dollars i've had it for years and the gold is still shiny and it has not tarnished so like don't skip out on the jewelry because like that's another way like you can have that really edited on trend wardrobe is like i always add in the layers accessorize and it just makes that outfit just pop I love this. I love the idea of wearing it with some jeans and then, or some pants and then doing a bralette and just keeping it very, very like simple. It would be really cute for the summer months. And I love the color. I like this. I like it too. Even though it's not vintage, this is still like one of those like really timeless pieces. I love this color. Like I don't have anything in this color. It's very muted compared to a lot of the stuff that I have, but I think this would be a really good piece to have during the fall. I feel like I'm very much a spring and summer like aesthetic because I love these bold colors and I just don't love winter clothes, but I feel like this could make getting dressed up in layers really fun. This is really cute. I'm not an orange person, but I'm leaning into it. It's Alan's favorite color. So I do like the idea of pairing this with the orange pants and just like really going orange. I feel like I like this color less than the orange. It's not for me, but I'm going to try this on and tell you why this would be a great buy if it were any other color or maybe if just it looked better on my skin tone. But it's just the silhouette, the details, the belt. I mean, I really wish this came in another color because I would be all about it i would wear it with my cowboy boots like a fun linen prairie style skirt and very much lean into that like 90s ralph lauren aesthetic like i'm going on a safari so there's like a tiny little snag in the back which i would usually avoid but i'm thinking my mom could fix it for me i'm a terrible sewer but i would say typically i avoid anything that requires repair because not that things cannot be repaired i just know personally like i never prioritize those things it's like things get added to my alterations pile and then they never get altered um, but this is simple enough of a fix that i could wear it and then my mom could fix it for me i love this dress i think this is one of those like easy grab and go dresses it's, it's so colorful it does all the print mixing i know it's so cute. Look at that detailing. It like does the print mix for me. I could wear it with flats. I could wear it with mules like this. Yes, this is a yes. Okay, I came home 
and I couldn't wait. I had to style up this sweater, which I absolutely loved. I'm gonna share it on Instagram because, you know, did you even wear a great outfit if you didn't share it on social media? Let's get into the haul. Okay, I got the orange jacket and see these are the pants that I was talking about. I think this could be really, really cool. Pairing, I like love it. I love the two different textures together and you know what? This was $5. I'm gonna be good about sharing the prices on things because I sometimes forget to do that. So for $5, I feel like I can experiment with this color. It's a really good piece. Kind of like checked off all the like boxes when I was mentioning it at the beginning of the video. I ended up getting this super groovy dress. I feel like for $5 and the slight imperfection that hopefully Mama Splendor can fix. Um, I'm gonna wear this a lot. Like I'm really excited about it. I love the colors. And it's funny like because there are like my haul has a lot of the same colors. It has this like olive green. It has the orange and some of the pieces that I got. So this is gonna be super fun to style. I had to get this. It was three dollars. It's vintage. This would be such a great cover up, or just like when you're at home. I just feel like sometimes you know you like get out of the shower, and it's like in the middle of summer, and you are so hot. You don't want to wear anything. You just want to like put on something or just like drip dry. I feel like I could just put this on, and I'll be like, you know, sipping on a cocktail. I am so excited about this dress. I really love it for $5. It is so fun. So the brand, it says an original by New Moon. The label looks like it could be vintage. It was giving me Carol Little vibes, which is a brand I absolutely love. And I just like love these little rosette details. And again, this is gonna be a really easy dress for styling. And I always think about like, how I can rework pieces. Um, so this one, as I mentioned, it does the print mix and the color mix for me. So it's like a really great starting point when I'm looking to style outfits. Okay, I had to get this little nylon robe. This was $3. I love the color. And as I put it on, I'm like, I already know how I'm gonna style this up in the spring and in the summer months. Again, another no brainer for me. And you know, I just, it's really hard to find these pieces now. I think like anytime I go to the thrift store, even flea markets, people are like, I can't find really good slips or robes. So this is how you become a collector. It's actually like, I think a kinder word than hoarder. Okay, last one is this Liz Claiborne blazer. See what I mean about the color palette that's happening? I really like this. Again, the color is perfect for fall, winter and springtime and I think I'm gonna probably style this up with some of the pants that I've been trying to find at the thrift store over dresses, but I also just like the idea of doing like a t-shirt, some high-waisted jeans, some mules, baseball cap, and just like doing a ton of gaudy jewelry just to dress up a very casual look. Last one, this sweater was six bucks, super cozy, has a tag that says hand knitted, which is always a plus. And I'm excited about the haul today, even though the purpose was like to really talk about how to curate a collector's closet. I like to say that I thrift to build up my vintage closet. Sometimes it includes pieces that are not vintage, but at the end of the day, it's always a thoughtful process of shopping and collecting and then styling. So I hope you were able to take away some notes so that you can maximize you're thrifting the next time you head up the thrift stores and vintage markets. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if there's anything you want to see from me, please let me know in the comments, whether that's home decor, thrifting, flea markets, or styling. I want to hear from you and I want to shoot content for you. I'll see you next week on Friday at 8 a.m. Bye.